good Lord, I'm truly young, I'm truly I cook just about everything, good Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on in here to cooking with Sandra Faye. Y'all, today I'm going to make for you cream corn from a can. You said, oh no, from a can again? Yes, from a can, y'all. You won't believe the taste, but let me tell y'all something. Y'all know how high the food prices are, okay? You got to put yourself on a budget. You can't be buying all this expensive food. Me, myself, I've even started to buy no-name brands. You just got to know how to doctor it up, y'all. Yes, like I said, I'm going to be cooking budget-friendly inflation recipes. And some of y'all need to do the same, okay? I'm single. I can't afford to buy all that high-priced food. It's bad enough that the gas is off the chain but you know what y'all we can survive you can survive if you only put yourself on a budget when you go to the grocery store stop picking up all that unwanted stuff you don't need to do that that's your problem right there all those cookies and candies and shrimps and steaks you're gonna have to learn to eat off a chicken okay if you want to survive this economy right here and you know which one I'm talking about. With well, all that said, y'all, come on, let's cook this cream corn from a can. Whew. Here are all the ingredients we will be using. One cup, not one cup, I'm sorry, a half a cup of bell peppers, a half a cup of onions, also two tablespoons, of evaporated milk and two tablespoons of butter or margarine whichever one you got at home one third cup of sugar yes I said sugar domino sugar remember I like domino sugar because it's sweeter than the other sugars so you only need one third cup of sugar one fourth teaspoon of salt I don't have it up here but one fourth teaspoon of salt dash of pepper and also we're gonna use this right here whole kernel corn yes it's the public's brand it's not name brand but it works just as well like i said you gotta doctor it up you gotta know how to make food taste good when you can't find the products that you need in your grocery store and we also are going to use one can of cream style sweet corn y'all all right this is a 14 and a half ounce and the other one was a 15 ounce all right y'all ready Y'all ready to get your cooking on? Are you ready, people? Are you ready? I'm getting C now, y'all. I forgot to tell you, put about, oh, maybe one fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. You don't have to put it in there if you don't want to, but some people don't like garlic. It's up to you, okay? But it may not taste like mine. I'm gonna say this again. Wash this top off with soap and water. I'm telling you, the grocery store have bugs roaches, ants, all kind of rats and feces. So you want to wash this with soap and make sure you clean it very well. Look how clumsy I am. I cut my fingers while chopping up the bell peppers. Yes, even good cooks, chefs, they cut themselves. It's true, y'all. It's true. We're going to put our butter in here because we're going to saute our veggies, y'all. I don't know why it's smoking like that. I hope that alarm don't go off. You know what? I have had the alarm to go off. How many of y'all had your alarm to go off? Lord have mercy. Stop it. My eyes turned down. I don't understand. I don't understand. After you melt your butter, put in your veggies. Uh -huh. 
This and that's that. I love that sizzling right there. Woo! Woo, that's good. Stir it up, and you want to probably cook them on for about two to two and a half minutes. Okay? I wish I had a gas stove, y'all, but I live in an apartment, so I just have to deal with this old-fashioned electric stove with the burners on it. They don't even have a flat top. What kind of mess is that? All this rent I'm paying for this, and I don't even have a flat top stove. Electric. Now that we have sauteed it, mmm, mmm. Smelling good in here, y'all. Smelling great. It is smelling so delicious. We're gonna pour in. Pour it in there. The cream corn. Turn your eye down just a little bit. Turn it down on low till I can get all this up in here. Ooh, yeah. Those onions and bell peppers are caramelized. Now you're gonna put in your whole corn, okay? It's like half and half, you know. One can of cream corn, one can of whole corn. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this gonna be good. You know, some people cook this from scratch. I can cook it from scratch. I can, but you know what, y'all? I'm kind of lazy. I don't want to do that, okay? Like, I just may add... No, I'm not going to do it. Let me put my milk in first. All right? Now we're going to add the milk. Two tablespoons of the evaporated milk. Pet milk, carnation, whichever milk you use, it'll be okay, all right? I used to off-brand. I did, y'all. Because pet milk is so high in carnation. Man, but it tastes good, though. It really tastes good. I put in my one-fourth of garlic powder. Oh, yeah. Let me get this. One-fourth of salt. I don't think that was enough. Hold on. There we go. My dash of pepper. Dash of pepper, y'all. Ooh. How much you want? I don't want to tell people how much pepper to put in their food because some people don't like pepper. Some people don't like it, and that's okay. You ain't got to put it in there if you don't want to. Y'all ready for the goodness? Now I'm going to put in my one third cup of sugar. You can put less if you want to, okay? You can do that if you want to. But what do I say? If you don't, do what I do. You're not gonna get the same results. But that's okay, you can doctor it up and make it your own. But I'm just showing you what to put in here, okay? Good Lord. Now I'm gonna cover this up, y'all, and I'm gonna let it simmer, oh, maybe for about, what? 25 to 30 minutes. I'll let y'all know, I'll let you know. Because you know the flavors, they gotta get in here, y'all. That's why you have to let it cook and simmer so the flavors can soak into the corn. Those bell peppers, those onions. Good Lord have mercy. Ooh, it smells so good. You may want to go in and stir it to make sure that it's not sticky. And this is perfect. Some people like theirs brown a little bit. If you want to kind of burn it a little bit, hey, that's up to you. If you like burnt stuff, hey, go for it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Go for it. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. Now, I did go back in here and add one more tablespoon of evaporated milk. So, that's three tablespoons. And so, I also added more salt and more pepper to my liking. That's for me, guys. That's for me. Do as you please. Make sure you taste it. All right, taste it. Ain't nothing wrong with tasting. Okay, taste that liquor right there. You see that liquor? Taste it. Make sure, because whatever that liquor tastes like, whatever it tastes like, mmm, I'm tasting it right now, is what your corn is going to taste like. It's smelling delicious, y'all. Ooh, let me turn my stove off. All right, don't forget, when you lift this up, turn it away from you to keep from scalding yourself. I had to learn that the hard way. Look at this, y'all. Look at it. Mmm. You can tell when it's ready because it'll be darker. Let's plate this puppy up. It 
it's time for a taste test, y'all. Look at this. Ooh, I'm telling you, it turns out great every time. Let me taste this. Let me taste it. I know y'all want to taste it. I know you do. Here we go. Mmm. Lord have mercy, y'all. What I always say, make you want to slap somebody. How <laughs> would you like, girl, come on now. All your food make you want to slap somebody? Well, to me it does. <laughs> to me it does. Moving right along here, y'all. Let me tell you something. You can taste the onions, the bell pepper. You can taste the salt just a little bit. Not a whole lot of salt, okay? Had to add a little more for my liking. You can do that too. And also, you can taste the sweetness, the sugar. If you like less sugar, put less sugar, okay? If you don't like a whole lot of sugar, but me, I like sugar. Especially if you're using Domino sugar. Oh, you might want to use just a slight bit less, okay? But me, it's fine for me. All right. But I'm telling you, it's great. It's a budget-friendly recipe that you can use for your family during these hard times. Yes. You can also use frozen corn if you want to. They even got frozen cream corn. You can use that too. Frozen cream corn and frozen whole corn. You can use either one. The can of that, okay? I don't know how much they call it, but the canned goods like, what, 79, 89 cents? But believe it or not, some of those have went up too. I'm telling y'all, it's bad out here. It's bad. Let me put this down. I ain't talking about food in my mouth, but y'all, make sure now that you like, share, and comment on my video. And let me know if you tried the video, okay? Let me know if you tried the recipe. And also, the uh, ingredients in the recipe is always down in the description box. So make sure you go down in there, okay? Do that for me. And share this video to all your social media. I'm trying to grow my channel even more, okay? Because these people, I'm telling you, some people need to learn how to cook and some people need to know how to make budget-friendly inflation recipes. All right. With all of that said, y'all, make sure that you come back to San Fei Unscripted. What? <laughs> oh.